Hey moms, welcome back to the Strong Mom channel. This is your cardio workout postpartum. We are working low intensity to medium intensity today. I'm going to show you how to progress your workout to make it a little bit more intense for you. And I'm going to also show you how to regress the exercises to make it a little bit more doable for where you are in your postpartum journey. This workout is safe for after C-section as well as for moms with diastasis recti. I want you to take this postpartum cardio workout at your own pace and let's have fun. One prop that you can bring is a chair or a table or a bench, or if you don't have that available, you could use the wall as well. So let's get started. Ladies, are we ready to get moving today? We've got a three minute warm up and then we're gonna get into it. I know we're gonna feel good in this workout, so let's start right here. Bring your hands forward, just tapping side to side, nice and easy. All right, we're gonna have fun today. We've got two minutes of work and then we have a little break. Now, these two minutes. We've got 30 seconds for each move and then a little 12, 15 second break. All right, let's get those big arm circles going here. And let's get those arms moving in the opposite direction. Now, if this is your first workout, or one of your first workouts after having your baby, congratulations, welcome back. We're just gonna do some walks to the side, walk or shuffle for a little warm up. Welcome to the Strong Mom Channel. I want you to feel confident in your body and I want you to feel good. So, I want you to take all the exercises at your own pace. So if something just doesn't feel right for you, I want you to find a way to modify it or maybe go back to an exercise that, you're not, that you know you feel confident doing and that feels good in your body. I don't want you to force your body to do something that your brain or your muscles are saying, don't do this, I'm not ready for it yet. So some things that we wanna watch out for, I know your doctor, care provider said, listen to your body. What does that even mean? So if you're feeling any kind of heaviness in your vagina, if you are leaking even a slightest bit of urine, these are pelvic floor disorders, dysfunction that we can do something about, okay? so. Somebody says, oh, you gotta live with it for the rest of your life. Not true, okay? I've got videos for you, um, and I want you to see a pelvic floor physiotherapist. All right, guys, arms up and down. And when it comes to squats or lunges, if you don't feel good going down far into the squat, I just want you to take it a quarter of the way. All right, let's get moving a little bit faster here. All right, to finish, so we've got two circuits and we've got a core finisher. Of course, everybody wants core exercises, don't we? Yes, we do. Nice job. I want you to tap back and alternating arms. Before we get started, make sure your laces are double knotted because the last thing that always trips me up is my laces coming apart, falling apart, you know? Tap it up to the side. You got it here. And a reminder, go at your own pace. You don't have to keep up with me. We're gonna go for our first exercise and I want you to come over to one side of your mat. We're gonna shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Knee tap, shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay, if you don't like the shuffle, I want you to fast walk, okay? I'm always trying to help you out with ways to modify or progress an exercise. So for those of you who want to progress, I want you to jump as you tap the knee. Yeah, you got it. Okay, next exercise coming up. I want you to get your chair, your ottoman, your table, whatever ready. We've got some modified burpees. You could even use the wall. All right. Start. Plant your hands down on your chair. Step or walk. Step or hop back. Step or hop forward, little jump. Again, join me 
at whatever pace you want. If you don't like the jump, I want you to rise up on your toes. So you're working your calves. Again, if coming with your legs all the way back into a, you know, elevated plank is too much, I want you to come back only halfway to a hover. Yeah, you got it. Nice job. All right, we will need that chair the second time we go through. Okay, we've got heel to butt kicks. We're gonna use those arms. Are you guys ready? Let's go. Bring those arms up. All right, now, you wanna progress this exercise, we're gonna do a little hop. Nice job, come on. Okay guys, for the next one we got a little coordination. I want you to tap twice, twice, and then tap back. Twice, then you're gonna switch sides. Twice, and back, twice, okay. I know, coordination sometimes is a little bit hard to do. Out, out, and back, and back. Switch legs, out, out, and back. And back, if you wanna join me with the punch, you can. And if you kinda of mess it up like I just did, I went back first, it's okay. Nobody's watching. <laughs> you guys are watching me though. It's all right. And switch. Nice work. Woo, shake it out. Okay. We're gonna go through that. One more time. We got our shuffles. Lateral. Knee up. Remember, you don't have to do the jump. You don't have to even shuffle. Nice quick walks, okay? Find where you feel comfortable in your body right now without experiencing any of those not so wanted symptoms. Nice job, get that chair. Modify burpees. Get ready. Hands down. Hop or step back into plank or into a hover. Hop and step forward. Up. I want you to again to exhale as you step back into that plank or that hover. We want to work our deep core here. Nice job, all right, get rid of that chair. We don't need it anymore. All right. We've got heel to butt with those arms. Yeah, let's go. All right, remember what your progression here is if you want it. Hop, yeah. Check it out. Okay, last one. Tap two times side, tap two times back. Bring in those punches if you want to. Otherwise, keep those arms moving. Punch, punch, and tap. Tap, you got it. Exhale. Every time you tap, work in our core at the same time. Shake it out. 45 seconds rest. And we've got circuit two coming up next. All right, so. First exercise. You're gonna come into a squat. You're gonna tap out, tap out, come up onto your toes. Tap out, tap out, come onto your toes. You want something more? You can do a little jack. 
as in jump up or you can jump out, okay? All right, for our exercises again, back to back. I hope you guys are having fun. Woo, I'm having fun. All right, guys, get ready. In that semi-squat position here. Yeah, you ready. Tap, tap, jump or come up onto your toes. Out. Okay, we've got hip hinge skaters. Sorry, hip hinge skiers. 
hip hinge, arms up. So I want you to come up on your toes this time. Slam and up, slam. Yeah, we're really working our arms, circles into this one. Remember, hinge. to your bum or even just halfway if this is hurting in your low back I want you to push that low back to the floor it should be touching there should be no space and rest ladies you did it I hope you had a great time roll over onto your side and we're just gonna do a nice little quad stretch here so ladies these last four exercises this core finisher we are using, as I said, our TA muscle, our transverse abdominis. 
this. It's exactly what you need to learn and to uh, not just learn, but you need to do this on a daily basis. Number one, to become strong in your core after baby. Number two, if you had a C-section and you just feel like, maybe even if you just had vaginal birth and you just feel like, I just don't feel the same in my core, I feel weak, I just feel like I have no connection to my body, you need to know how to do this. Um, if you have diastasis recti, you've gotta do this on the daily. Ladies, I know this is stuff that not a lot of people talk about, that's why I am here talking about it on my channel. So, if this is you, if you can resonate with this, with that hollow sensation or that just hollow feel, not connected to your core, low back pain, let me help you out. First, go down below and I want you to pick up my Flat Belly After Baby ebook. It's free. 10 holistic ways to get a flatter belly after baby without extreme exercise, without dieting, and without surgery. And then I want you to click the work with me button down below. Let's have a chat. Let's see if we are right to work together and I can walk you step by step through a program specialized for you to getting you feeling back to normal, to getting you healing, to getting you healing and minimizing diastasis recti, the mummy tummy, and even things like urinary leakage. Okay, ladies, are you ready? We're gonna put our legs down. We're gonna roll over. Come on up. Last stretch right here. One arm across your chest, other arm comes under. Just a little shoulder stretch here. Bring it down. And last one. And last stretch, arms out open. I want you to give yourself a nice little hug. You took this time for yourself, so I give you huge props, and I'm sure many of you got your babies lying down beside you, so thank you so much. Ladies, if you like this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe, hit the notification so you never miss one of my videos. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for joining me.